Another target needs to be met and that's preparation for the Commonwealth Games in 2010. But as Kajori Sen finds out, these are far from on track. It's time to gear up for the Commonwealth Games coming up in 2010. And while everyone is very proud of the preview in Australia, highlighted of course by Seth and Ash's performances, not much planning is being done on home ground. Members from the tourism and hospitality industry came together at an IATO meet today to discuss just what can be done. But the question that seemed to be on everyone's mind was, is it already too late? In, in totality, the infrastructure which, which we feel today is not uh, adequate to handle such a big event. And uh, I think we are late, uh, already quite late. Even without the Commonwealth game, tourism is growing by more than 40% every year in India. Unfortunately, infrastructure, particularly accommodation, has been completely stagnant for a while. So before the Commonwealth Games come around, everyone will have to work twice as much to get it on track. But places to stay will only be a problem when tourists actually enter the country. Slow manual processes have held up the visa procedure over and over again, a luxury that an event on the scale of the Commonwealth Games can't afford. Some ideas were brought up at the meet today which could help expedite the process. I mean, uh, we have so much expertise of software in this country that we can have electronic visa, we can have security firewalls, we can have uh, security codes built in and uh, we also have to consider visa on arrival. It is boom time for the hospitality industry but keeping up with demand from business travellers is proving to be hard enough. The challenge posed by the event is enormous and public-private cooperation will be needed in order to meet it. The IATO will take the matter up once again in Jaipur next month and hopefully the government will be listening in time to make the games a success. In New Delhi, Kajori Sen for NDTV.